Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? I guess we needed another drama. After all, right, like, the gaming industry is filled with drama. We recently had Dragon Age, the Whale Guard situation, the Concord situation, Assassin's Creed, the woke stuff, the Sweet Baby Ink stuff. I guess we needed another one. And guess what? The homie Nick Merckx ended up name dropping not just the homie Tim the Tatman, but also the homie Swag who likes to like that you guys know what i'm talking about man i never even heard of our radar hack so the homie nick marks went crazy like the video if, if you think uh cheating is not good to do in video games like the video if you love your mama like the video if you do not like getting killed by cheaters in video games <laughs> just like the video if you do i want to know where you guys at but this story has been going ongoing ever ever since nick marks said leave the kids alone right <laughs> And Activision removed his skin and then, you know, he took like a year-long break from Call of Duty. He came back, Tim the Tatman joined him, and now he kind of pieced out from the Call of Duty scene once again. I'm talking about Nick Marks here, okay? Let's actually jump right into it. Shout out to the homie Jake Lucky. Roll it. In a recent stream, Nick Marks has now given his official thoughts on Black Ops 6 and maybe a bit different from what you're hearing from the COD Next streamers and creators. He actually just flat out says that you can't trust him because a lot of them are COD partners or paid by Call of Duty or in fair, an environment fair, fair. where it kind of... Uh, you know, gives them a sway of their opinion, which I think we've all known for quite a few years now when you are a Call of Duty partner or invited to these events, you're probably a slight bit encouraged to at least love the game and what is expected to be from it as we see year in and year out with the Call of Duty cycle. Not just slightly love, you're like, they, they always tell you, they remind you, brother, like you gotta buy the frown frown. <laughs> Yeah, man, they, they make you buy those microtransactions. They're like, hey, man, you need to promote the microtransactions, the $20, the $30 bundles to your fans out there, to your viewers out there. I mean, listen, man, like, if you genuinely want to buy those, you want to buy those, okay, uh, fair, okay, that's you, right? But that's what, like, Activision does. They're like, hey, we're going to give you free Call of Duty points so you can go ahead and promote these skins to your viewers. I would say one or two YouTuber out there that would personally buy those skins and then get a tax write-off. So I, I get that part. If they want to, like, buy and then showcase, make content, make money out of it, that's, like, them, okay? Um, yeah, they're going to do them. But generally speaking, the big YouTubers, they're getting, they're getting everything for free, bro. Like, they're getting Call of Duty points to just... Uh, you know, I, this was a massive thing back when loot boxes were a thing, right? Call of Duty YouTubers would get a lot of Call of Duty points and they, uh, Activision would, you know, tell them, hey, encourage them. Hey, you need to open loot boxes on your stream. Hey, you did not stream in a long time. Do a stream right now, man. <laughs> open loot boxes on stream. Inspire the youth. Inspire the kids to do the same. That was a massive thing back in the days. And I guess now they just send out, like, you know, keyboards, like maybe socks. Bruh. Not maybe. They do send out socks, which is absolutely wild. They, they send out Call of Duty socks, man. What? Oh. Come on, man. And they send out for sure the call of duty points but it's nick just being straightforward saying people like swag people like tim you gotta take it all with a grain of salt and despite Dude. that he does want a good call of duty but is not keeping his hopes too high did he really say tim let's find out because yeah he mentions he says tim he name drops tim let's, let's start off by saying this man it, it's gonna be really tough to take any of these creators seriously especially like like swag tim any type of like Call of Duty primary creators, like when 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 Call of Duty is their main thing and their only thing, yeah. it's hard to take their opinion as as Bond. Uh, no, uh, I mean he ain't lying. He ain't lying. I mean what he's saying is kind of facts. But I'm kind of shocked and surprised by him name dropping and mentioning Tim, because I would say uh, Tim, he took a minute. I I get that. But when Nick Mark said leave the kids alone, which I mean that's. I'm behind that. Yes, leave the kids alone. He said nothing wrong and Activision removed his skin. Then Tim the Tatman responded and, uh, you know, when he first responded, he didn't say much. I get that. He was trying to protect himself. I understand that, guys. I can understand that, okay? A and then Tim came out and he said that, yes, I am with, uh, you know, please remove the Tim the Tatman bundle because uh, he respects his friendship a lot more than that. He values his friendship a lot more than that. And yeah, that's fair that's your friend that's your friend and i and i appreciate that i mean it's something that a lot of people i mean if you guys got friends in real life right of course seeing what tim did for nick that was commendable right so a lot of people were like okay man 
you know what I mean? Right, yeah, exactly. So a lot of people had respect for Kim the Tratman. A lot more respect after that, which is okay, fair. That is very, very good to... It was very good to see. <laughs> but now the homie Nick is doing that. Yeah, I don't know, man. And of course, ever since that Dr. Disrespect drama, it's been kind of different, right? Like Tim the Tatman, Z Laner, Nick, everybody kind of parted their ways. Uh, and that's their decision. I'm not saying like whether they're in the wrong or in the right. Hey guys, like that's their decision, okay? Like that's their decision. That's their decision. They don't want to play with Doc. They don't want to play with Doc. They want to play with Doc. They want to play with Doc. Simple, okay? Simple, okay? That's their personal matter. Because look, they're, they're being paid in some way or the other. And it, they're just happy to be there. They're around all the, you know what I mean? It's vibes. It's all energy. You know what I mean? If they're playing something new. That feels good, right? Everybody loves that. When you're playing something new and you're the first one to do it, it's going to feel good. Everybody loves that, except for the homie. I wish I could say psych right now, except for the homie. Blame truth. <laughs> he never likes anything, man. He never likes. But loved. I loved his videos. I love his videos. I love the. He provides free therapy, though. So good. You're gonna get those it. little little feelings in your uh, stomach and your mind and shit. It's gonna be exciting. You know, you you know, you're with all your people, but all your people. You just gotta no, take it with a grain of salt, man, because every. Just say no diddy, bro. Fucking year, no matter the Call of Duty, it's always the same shit. It's the same shit. Is it not? Like, every Call of Duty, they all say it's going to be the, the best year, the biggest year, this is going to be crazy. I came back from the last Call of Duty thing, and I said that the game was going to be good, but I didn't say anything close to what these other motherfuckers were saying, man. They're like, oh, the best Call of Duty ever, best Warzone, Warzone's <laughs> back. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> and I mean, bro, I showed up that Call of Duty next, and I took over, man. We got the first win. We are the, I mean... It was a fucking. Oh, oh yo, oh, shit. yo! Did Call of Duty invite him out, or does he mean like he, him playing Call of Duty Warzone at his home? Does he mean getting back to the event? I don't know. I know Tim the Tatman was invited. Uh, I'm not sure about Nick. If if Call of Duty invited him, shit, that's crazy. That is crazy because, like, of course, Call of Duty didn't want it to work with him uh, after that. After he said, "Leave the kids alone," and he was not wrong in saying that. Absolutely right. Like, video if you agree with "Leave the kids alone" from like these woke politics and all that, right? Like, kids don't need to cut their pee pee off, right? So that's that. that that's like the context of the situation when uh, Nick said, "Leave the kids alone." I believe at this point, like a year and a half ago or two years ago, I don't even remember. Like, time's flying fast, okay? But yeah, that was the context of it. And ever since then, yeah, I guess he's blacklisted. I think he means to say he played Call of Duty Warzone at his home. After the fact. After his ban from Call of Duty, right? Party, you know? Could be but wrong. that was when we were full swing playing Apex. Are you, I'm hoping for a good day for Call of Duty, you know? Okay. I really Fair. fucking am. Fair. But we'll see. Okay. Okay. We'll, see. But we'll see. And Nick we'll see. has been betting a lot recently on stream. I've also been tossing some esports bets out there thanks to Thunderpick. Yeah! Whoa, whoa, tranquilo, papi. Variety of reasons, and I won't dive too far into the ramblings he has had about Call of Duty for quite some time now. I just, I just haven't been into playing anything, really, man. I'm not, I'm just not feeling it, you know. Well, God, yeah, looks so yeah. horrible. However, today is a big day for Call of Duty. Also, a little bittersweet on that front too, because as a, as a, as a company, you know, we don't see eye to eye anymore. Oh, there we uh, go. Okay. Yeah, I guess he's banned, so he's not invited out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, if he did, I mean, damn, look, okay, good on Activision then for squashing, uh, and good on him and Activision for squashing the beef and making the monies, right? But personally, though, like, I did not buy Modern Warfare 2023 because, you know, it was supposed to be a DLC, and I didn't felt it. Black Ops 6, I got it, and I have been enjoying it for what it's for. Guys, listen. I, I'm still aware, okay, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say it, it's not the best game ever. It's not also trash either. You know, right right now, it's kinda odd. Kinda odd. I, I think it's better than Concord and just... <laughs> uh, I, I'm joking around for those of you that might take it serious. Uh, of course, I'm joking around, but objectively, of course, it's better than Concord and Dustborn. I guess any and every game is better than Concord and Dustborn. And, and then there's Dragon... Dragon... Uh, H. Whale Guard, of course. Uh, you know, business practices, right? They're, they're a little DEI. They're a little... There we go. You know, they got in inclusivity at the fucking front door. You know what I mean? Right? There we go. They got, the, they got all the colors out and about, right? The, the, uh, 
the trans flag at the front door. You know what I mean? If you don't bow to it, then you, you know, you're you not going to get invited to any type of shit. So, obviously, we don't see eye to eye on some shit like that. But, um, look, Call of Duty, on the other hand, is a game that I grew up playing, man. Like a yeah, lot of you guys. Yeah, you know, we grew up. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a Same. chapter in the book, per se. You know what I mean? A big one. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? So, there's always going to be love. Oh damn, Octo Blue guy kinda, kinda going not even kinda he going crazy right for now. Call of Duty to some degree. Not as much as there used to be, but there'll always be love. Um <laughs> So <laughs> again, hopeful that today's a good day and that Hopefully. the stuff they show with the Battle Royale anyway is is fucking promising. Cause if it is Yo, we got the the clip from Tim the Tatman coming up. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can jump back into a full schedule where we're fucking playing COD again, you know? I wouldn't mind that. Just okay. not just the, like the way it is now. I have I have zero interest, man. I, I don't know how you guys are getting on playing that shit every day. It's really really boring. Like it was fun. Uh, now for for me, I can speak on my behalf, and you guys can definitely let me know if you're liking the game or not liking the game. You're hating the game, but you're still playing. Of course, some of you guys are addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. Right? I get that. Guys, listen, man. I'm not judging anybody. Okay? I get it. I get it. You don't even have to explain anything to me whether you uh hate playing the game right if you hate playing the game you hate playing the game you can tell me in the comments if you love playing or hate playing for sure for whatever reason but i'm not judging in and you don't have to explain to me in that aspect okay now the way i have been enjoying is by just like watching youtube videos in the background podcasts i don't listen to the game audio no more when i play call of duty or any fps game for that matter i just listen to podcasts gaining knowledge 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 and playing at the same time i'm like not even paying attention when I play Call of Duty. Usually, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm getting like around one KD, so one kill, one death. Bruh. Now, with the with skill-based matchmaking, if I just play the game alone, I think I would be hating it too. But because like I'm mostly focused on like listening to podcasts, and I don't want to take a nap and then listen to podcasts because I feel like I'll fall asleep and then not get the not get all the info. I stay awake, enjoy the game, get to rank up listen to podcast and it's double stimulation and uh yeah i've been actually enjoying that a lot more i i really have been enjoying it that way now to say whether i'm enjoying call of duty call of duty probably not but i'm enjoying playing and listening to podcasts catching up on youtube videos and all that uh now if you doing the same let me know if you're not doing the same let me know if you hate call of duty but you still play it feel free to feel free to let me know what makes you keeps what makes you like keep coming to the game right what what what's that one thing that is like okay you hate the game but you keep on playing it right what's that one thing that makes you always want to come back I'm, re I'm, re I'm really curious to know man again no judgment uh you do you poppy and i appreciate you being here absolutely i do oh hell yeah man thank you guys for being here man but 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 i want to i want to definitely know like uh, just want to get the 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 psyche behind it you know for a little bit but now it's to the point where i just We've done everything you can do. It, it's the same shit. Like, oh, they buffed this gun. You know, the same map. It's just nah, you know? But it was also interesting to see someone like Tim the Tatman. I hadn't thought about this, and I'm not going to make a solo on this, but it was really interesting to see that last year, or just about last year, uh, a little over a year ago, whenever it was, when Tim the Tatman yeah. had Nick Merck's back and actually had asked Activision to take out his skin from the game in support of yeah. Nick, and they did so. And now, finally, Black Ops 6, a while later, that event was now so freaking long ago, it's actually crazy how fast time flies. He's headlining the COD Next event as yeah. the biggest creator there. That is crazy, right? Yeah, that, this is what this is what I was saying right in the beginning. So yeah, he backed up Nick the Nick uh, Nick Merx. He backed up his friend, and yeah, and now Call of Duty has him back, which is crazy. But I think, uh, yeah, because, but but, <laughs> okay, I got a I got a lot of thoughts running through my through my mind. Tim never said leave the kids alone or not leave the kids alone right so he was just like hey nick is my friend so call of duty please remove my skin he was in that aspect he said that in in that emotion so i think this is why he's not banned banned like nick marks right I, I think that's what it is and i think he just squashed the beef and to those of you that uh uh that play Warzone or whatever. Is the is Tim the Tatman skin available to purchase? I, I think not. That wouldn't be available, right? I mean, they removed it, but would it be available to purchase now? If you already bought it, I guess, then you 
you get to keep it. But 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 what about Nick Marks? If you ha if you bought Nick Marks skin at launch, when the skin first came out, do you still get to keep it, or or did they just remove it completely? I want to know like your thoughts or your experience on it. It's actually kind of nice to see that. I mean, obviously people are gonna say money talks, whatever, whatever. But it's nice to see that you can kind of mend those those wounds and still support a game and them of course still support him yeah, and yeah, yeah. he seems to like the game although he has also had his own remarks about this which we've shared on this channel yeah, yeah. where he thinks mouse and keyboard might be cooked and call of duty multiplayer has never been tim's strong suit uh that certainly has not changed for this year either but regardless it's crazy to see you know the direction that nick yeah honestly wild to see them invite tim back and you know what i, I got nothing but love man like uh, shit like that's i guess good on activision and good on tim for uh partnering up bro like I, yeah it'd be what it'd be bro i don't care like uh, uh yeah more success to you guys watching more success to him more success to everybody if you're trying to do something good for you for the fam and for the people around you right you know what i'm saying man nothing but love in that aspect bro but guys check out this video on the screen we got some good news for gtsx bro check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there we got gameplay leaks trailer leaks everything going on right now check it out and i'll see you right there